Hello, in this second video we're just going to start running a few reports, a few analyses, so you can start looking at how the different activities and different combinations of data can look like in the new TVOP service. Uh, we're going to be starting with a very simple one based on day parts, and in uh, other videos we're going to be start uh, showing how we do the same thing with programs. Okay, so I'm going to be starting by creating a complete new template um, I'm going to be selecting a few channels and we're going to be running a standard daypad report. Okay, everything based on the defaults. So we're going to be running the whole date for consolidated playback seven days and we're going to be picking up the 8th of January. When you calculate, you get the standard figures. I don't particularly like this layout, so I'm going to be moving these uh, stations here, making the columns a bit wider. So here we have the ratings in thousands, percentages and share for what I've selected. But I'm going to be doing something slightly different now. I'm going to start looking at different activities. So instead of using the default one, which is PB uh, seven days, I'm going to start looking at the viewing in the traditional way. So this is broadcast centric, everything going back to the original transmission. So if I pick here live and we open the broadcast daytime, which is a traditional one, and I start looking at playback Vostal and playback 1 to 99, and it's hard to calculate, then you can see that you have, you can navigate through the different activities, or you can decide to bring them back here and you can start looking at rating in thousands, for example, for live, Vostal, and playback 199. Mm. This is again the traditional way, and we're basically looking at people that were watching on the 8th of January live, so this is linear viewing. This is people that on the same 8th of January were recording something and playing it back within the same day, and this is people that were recording content on the 8th of January, but they were playing me back up to 99 days later. If I decide to now go and select another activity which is a consolidated, then you will have the total viewing. Okay? Now, what I want to do now is something very different, which is what was the been viewed on that same day. I don't care what was recorded and playback on different days. I just want to understand what was viewed on that specific day. So in that day, in, in that case, you will stick to the eighth. But under activities, I'm going to be doing something very different. So I'm going to be keeping live. If you want to remember what live is, you go to properties, or viewing that occurs at the time of broadcast is classes live viewing but I'm now going to be opening the viewing centric type of activities so I'm going to be looking at PV Vostal view time at PV 199 VOD and VOD what is this one going to give me go to properties this is a viewing that was recorded and watched back on the same day as the live broadcast at the time it was actually watched. So this is when it was actually watched. The second one, you go to properties again, it includes all viewing that was recorded in any device and watched back within 19 days of the broadcast date at the time in which it was actually viewed. So this could have been viewing done on previous days to the 8th of January, but it was actually played back, viewed on the 8th of January. And finally, bot, if you want to remember what this means, is all viewing based on streaming content, reported again at the time of viewing, and this is classified as a bot viewing. So this is linear, the other ones are not linear, but all four of them are based on the viewing time. So it's no more attribution back to the transmission time. Everything is viewing time. So if I decide now to run the same analysis, I will have very, very different reports. And I can see that here I have the same live um, viewing that I had before, but now 
the Vostal and PV are quite different because you're no longer attributing to the original VRM. Okay. Now, about here, you can see it's zero because we actually have selected standard linear channels. So if you really want to start looking at VOD for a channel that makes sense, you always have to remember that under channels to select the relevant ones. I put them in my configuration under a folder called online channels. So I'm going to be adding them here. And if I recalculate, you can see now we can put some colors. We have viewing, so standard viewing for the main um, what channels I selected, which are linear ones. And then I also have VOD hmm, for those streaming channels, Anarchy TV Online, Super Online, etc. This is the way in which you would need to start looking at the data if you want to start analyzing viewing time. Remember that in the first video we explained the two different ways to look at this information. And just remark to remember this, there was the broadcast centric one, the traditional one, based on the standard line plus playback postal and standard playback. And now we have a different one, which is now viewing uh, centric. And in this particular case, we can start looking at PV Vostal, PV199 and what. Hmm? These are the main differences we have between one and the other. From here, if you wanted, you can even go further. And I'm just going to show an example based on device. So in this particular one, I would like to start looking at each one of these selections in here. I can again go to calculate. And now the analysis will show me initially what are the figures that I get for each one of the activities based on all screens. But then I can swap to TV. So this is everything that was done on TV sets. And then from here, you can start looking at PC, Macs, tablets and smartphones. You can see that in PC, Macs, tablets and smartphones, most of the unit is done on video on demand. If you wanted, of course, you could change this into, for example, in here, so you can have everything that was done on each one of the devices or you can place it if you want it at the right of each one of the stations so you can see how much viewing was done in total, but then device by device. Same thing could be done, of course, if you wanted adding a location or adding platform instead of device or in addition to device. The main point again is to remember that you have to start looking at combinations of different channels and different activities. Um, just to end up this very, very short and basic example, I'm going to be deselecting all the different channels. And I created groups of uh, based on the different channel owners, as you can see here. These are just mine, but we can explain how you create them. So I'm going to be running the entire audience for these four different groups. And these groups include both the linear and the nonlinear channels. So if I now do the same thing, what I would have is instead of having a separate channel for TV2 linear and for TV2 online or NIK linear, NIK online, I have entire groups. So from here, I can see all of them combined and looking at what is the live under all screens or a live under TV live on the PC, Mac, tablets and smartphones, so you're watching streaming simulcast. And then you can start looking at how much is also done on each one of the different activities and the combination of the different devices. This, as I said to you, is based on viewing time. It's not longer in this particular analysis based on broadcast time. We are going to be showing some more advanced examples, but in this one, Again, I just wanted to emphasize the choice of the different activities and the combination between these and the available channels. Remember, they have standard linear channels and you have online channels.